Today, we make Danish smorbrod. You'll see. I was recently in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we had smorbrod. I hope I'm saying it right. S-M-O-R-R-E-B-R-O-D, which basically means bread and butter. But it's so much more than that because it's these amazing open face sandwiches with all manner of toppings. We're going to do three today. They're going to be fantastic. And the key to smorbrod, if I'm saying it right, is a very good, dense, dark, seedy bread. And I've got one right here. And I am holding everything I've got back from just eating this. Okay, let's start. It begins with the bread and the butter. So we'll cut the bread, we'll get it all set for receiving the open-facedness that is so amazing. Here we go. We don't want it to be too thick, right? So something like this. And we're gonna make three different ones. One, two. And by the way, if you've been to Denmark and you've had small brod, or however you say it, and you recognize that this is not square bread and it's generally square there, give me a break. We're not in Denmark. We're in San Diego at my house. I'm going with this shape bread. Okay, the first one is shrimp and hard boiled egg. Hard boiled egg. You're gonna, oh my God. Okay, you're gonna like this. Shrimp, nobody move. Hard boiled egg. Let me check my thing there. Oh, there's a bad light here on me too. Celery, I've got celery. What, oh, why do we? We never open it up all the way. The fridge? Yeah. I can't even find what the. What are you looking for? Trent? I'm looking for fopping celery, man. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. How is this possible? Uh oh, I got it. Finally. Let me check my list. My notes are shrimp mayo. Celery, hard boiled egg. What's this? Bread butter. Okay, chives. Okay, so uh, we go like this. We start by, remember what I said, smorbrod is bread and butter. So let's put some butter on all this bread in anticipation of what will come, right? Okay, so technically we have our smorbrod ready, the bread and butter is all set to receive. We could stop and not do anything else, and I suppose we'd be, we'd be there, but. So now I'm gonna take some pre, <laughs> some little pre-cooked shrimp. Mm. These little guys, right? You can buy them. You can make them, you can poach them. I, like, I'm trying not to take too much time today to take up all of your time. So next is gonna go this. I want a little crunch in here, so a little celery. Goes like this. And I love using the celery leaves that are there because they're just, they're just extra flavor. Celery goes into our shrimp. Uh, okay, a little mayo. Ready? Here we go. A little salt and pepper. Mix this. OK. 
Okay, I want a little more mayo. Okay, that's ready. Hard boiled egg. That looks like this when we cut it. We'll get this little end off because we want, hey now, we want the yolk part. So we're going to cut just a few pieces so we have enough coverage for our brod or the bread. And we'll go like this. Ready? Good? Yeah. So far you could eat this, right? Yeah. Got a boy. Now we take some of this. And I'll, I'll be honest that one of the great parts of this smorbrod world is how beautiful everything looks. There's just a ridiculous amount of care taken in terms of presentation for each one. Okay, so that's... Hold on, let me just get these out of the way. And now to finish this one off, it gets just a little bit of chive. Good? And I'm a pepper fan, so... Okay. That's one. Schmorbrot. Ready for number two? We begin with herring. Okay, herring and sour cream. So now I've never made this before. In fact, I've never made any of these before. It may be obvious, but I think they're gonna be delicious. I can't wait to eat at least that one with the shrimp and the egg, because the combination is perfect. But now this I had there, and this one, it was a curried herring in sour cream. So here's what we've got. You can buy herring in sour cream, do you see that? Mm -hmm. That you could eat just like this. Like right, look, right out of the jar. That's just a casual herring sour cream snack. <laughs> I love it. I know you don't love it. I know you have issues. You're not as Jewish as I am, that's the problem. Yeah. This younger generation is just not as Jewish as the older generation. So here's what I want to do. And there's a little onion in here, and that's cool. I don't have a problem with that. I just want to make these pieces a little bit smaller. I want to make the bites a little easier. Okay, so look. Herring and sour cream. Good. I'm going to add a little more sour cream because I want this to be, you can see, this herring is it's, it's dry-ish, and I don't want that. So a little more sour cream, like this. And again, I, I said I haven't done this before, so it's an experiment. A little curry powder. What is that? Half a teaspoon? Mm -hmm. And let's see. Oh, the smell. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. Okay, so ready for this? So our herring goes on here. Beautiful. Now, two things. Well, three things. Okay, ready? Yeah. One is red onion. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm so happy right now. You have no idea. The other one is a parsley. And again, with the pepper. 
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Schmorbrod number two. And the third one, <laughs> the third one's so great. Okay, into a not too hot pan with some butter. We put a beaten egg. There's a little salt and pepper in it. And this part should be pretty obvious. We're just making scrambled eggs. And if you've watched this show for any amount of time, you know that I like to make a slow scrambled egg, which means I pull it off the heat because uh, I, I want it to be gently uh, scrambled, which means not dry. So you can see, it doesn't get a lot of heat. While this is happening though, and look, it's almost there, but I want it, you want to keep it moist which I think sounds creepy when it comes to an egg, but tender. I mean, not, not dried out. Let's do this though. Let's take some lox smoked salmon and I'm going to separate these guys because their colors are a little bit the same and I want to make a little difference here. So we're going to take some lox smoked salmon, put it right here. Good? Good. And this is where this is going to go. So we finish this gently. But while it's finishing back up, I'm sorry, we need a little dill. This is right here. Yeah. You like that. Yeah. You like opening that. I mean, look. Eggs. And salmon, what goes better than dill, right? Okay, here we go. So we take this slow scrambled egg. We go right down the middle. Still warm, but that's fine. It's going to do its thing. And a little bit of dill. Wow. Gorgeous. That's unbelievable, right? Ladies and gentlemen, Schmorbrod. Danish open face sandwiches. And so here we are. Schmorbrod. My version of Schmorbrod. We gotta have a bite, right? I hate, to, I hate to bust them up. Look at how gorgeous they are. Shrimp, celery, chive, mayo, salt, pepper, hard boiled egg. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. Crazy, crazy good. Lox, smoked salmon, uh, slow scrambled eggs, dill. Okay. Oh, here's the thing. Is that so different from what I might have on a Sunday morning here? No. But I don't serve it open face on a sandwich. That's the thing. And now my favorite. Curried herring and red onion. Oh my God. Okay. That, the gently pickled herring, the curry, the little tangy bites of red onion. Oh. Okay, if you've been to Copenhagen, if you've been to Denmark, you know what Smorbrod is all about. If you haven't, this is what it's all about. You have to have this. You have to make these. They're just ridiculously incredible. And you can make a whole bunch of them and put them out for a party. That's the thing to do. I'll be doing that soon. 
All right, what do we say? Don't make the same thing all the time? Clearly not the same thing. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and blah, 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 whatever. I'll see you again. Don't uh, eat boring food. Life's too short. Please don't eat boring food.